Dominic Clare says, "All right, <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna link this up." Don, Dominic Clare says, "All right, uh, lads, a lass in our friendship group was talking about her ex with lads. I hate the that things word. about. Do you? Right. Yeah, it's fucking ruined by gobshites on Twitter. Oh, he fell over. I've got the ick. <laughs> Fuck off. He doesn't even like you. I hate it so much. Oh my god, he stole this car. I've got the ick. Right. Bye. Next question. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, one of her examples was Carl you're going to hate this okay, so much go. it's so good I am as well I'm with Carl I'm about right. her icks with lads one of her examples was when they wear football tops out in public <laughs> so good I don't want to know you you <laughs> fucking fat bitch <laughs> he is in a fucking he is in spicy a, mood one of them moods isn't he he is listen spicy rice Regler tonight. I, I, I feel like I'm in the middle of this, and you're sort of in the middle of it because I've got a feeling she means like the local team because this is going to be a scouser. Like, oh, I agree with that. Yeah, if like a fella wearing an Everton top to the pub. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck him right off. <laughs> hey, you, do you know what? The best thing is, she, it's Dominic Clare that's emailed in. She doesn't even know that she's part of it. Like, fuck you, you fat bitch. <laughs> All right, yeah, no, but she's winning me over actually. If it's the local team, that is a bit noncy. Yeah, because you were telling me you wouldn't even wear uh, you wouldn't wear a Liverpool top to the game because no. it's a bit like oh. Danish family on. I will wear a Liverpool top to play house, a game or of in your house if you're watching the game. Not even really then. I wore it when we won the league because I was pissed and I was like, I'm putting my fucking top on. Oh, uh, such a good night. And and then I you can't the you can't wear. I would if I wore an Everton top to the pub, I'd kill myself. <laughs> I, it's just no. No. <laughs> no, just not the done thing. No. Would you ever wear an Everton top then? No. Apart from playing football, what if you were hot on holiday? Is the that Ever even worse? On holiday. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only Everton. In the Maldives. Do you know what I wear? I wear Everton shorts or like an Everton training top. Like a, to the like pub. A, to the pub. <laughs> but sure. I will never buy an Everton football shirt. Oh, get the receipt. Would you not? You would. No, I'd, sorry. No, I'd have one. But I'd, to like, play forty. To in. play forty in. Yeah. But I would never wear would it. Would you wear a 95 96 Borussia Dortmund? Yes, yeah, be- that kit. is one of the most beautiful kits in this room. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I wouldn't even, I haven't even got the, the confidence to wear a footy top that's not associated with my team. I'd wear like a, a zip up, like training gear. Of I'd even wear a Liverpool one of them, to be honest with you. The training stuff is fine. Yeah. Fine. I can Trending see. Person, I can see what girls mean. There are. Th- this is the thing. We think we wear football shirts well. Like, oh yeah, but I'm wearing this one. It's retro and everything. Girls don't know the difference. No, they are just associating you with all the bell ends that wear football shirts and look like fucking lumps. So I get it. If you are a girl and you don't know football, football tops is is. There's a lot of like, uh, you're that bell end. Like I look at you and I go, oh, I know that's a ninety two, ninety three Fiorentina home shirt. It's Batistuta. There's girls who think that's this season's kids. Yeah, it was foul. They're like, oh that. god, another football shirt. You're like, mate, come on. If you're into funny shirts, beauty. by the way, if you go to my Twitter, buy on, click the link, and use the code Carl Ten, you can get twenty percent off classic football shirts. The code UK. Right, cool. Are we getting a percentage of that? No, no yeah, can't all right, cool. You're getting your own private sponsor. Well, he's gonna, yeah? he, yeah. he's gonna buy us presents with that money. He's told me. Nice. Yeah, I've told him that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ick thing I'm with Carlo yeah, I hate it. getting so, the yeah. actual ick like when someone does something that you're just like I can't handle that in a relationship that's what the ick is meant to be but Carl's right this girl's now going in one tweet why can't I find a man who's nice to me I just end up with bastards all the time and they end up punching me mum's head in and I just <laughs> don't know what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> you're and then, picking the wrong guy bro and then like a week later the same girl's like oh my god I've been on three dates with this guy but then Yesterday we went to pictures and he got an ice blast, but he didn't even get mixed. He just got one flavor, got the ick, and it's like you're yeah, a fucking die. stupid cunt, yeah. and you're gonna either end up getting like mentally and physically abused for the rest of your life by men because you because someone doesn't get the same ice blast flavor as you, or you're gonna end up lonely, <laughs> fingering yourself surrounded by cats. Yeah. The only two. I mean, <laughs> the irony is on this podcast we've spent nearly two years of getting really specific about things that annoy us and wind us up, and it's just a version of that. But I get it. It is very Instagram it's sort of language, it's horrible. isn't it? It's if you were single, so, what are the turnoffs? What are the? T- the it's just another way of saying turn off. What are the things about when when you were single? What are the turnoffs for you when you when a girl does something? Because that's what Dominic Clare asked. He was like, "What are the turnoffs when you were younger?" <sighs> Girls. The overdue perfume, oh, fucking right. hell! I hated that. Okay. Just watching, watching girls go. Right, I'm getting ready. She's like, what the fuck? You got BV? What are you trying to cover up? <laughs> What's BV? Smelly Biff syndrome. Right. 
Bad vagina? Yeah. Bowie vagina? Was it PV? It's PV. Man's zonal marking. You, yeah, you hate a girl. <laughs> when you were single, you hated a girl that zone marked you. you like a woman mark. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... <sighs> can't really remember, but there, are, there is things where I've been like, oh, I'm, I'm fucking done with you. Right. Not in physical, though. No, apart from a club foot. A club foot. <laughs> big shoe! Big shoe! Because the old one is What, the... big issue? No, it's a big shoe! <laughs> Steve seen... Harris is getting loads of recognition on this. Seen Shallow Hal? Yeah. When she got her, her next toe to her big toe is longer than the big toe. Oh, that's a bit unkind with Finn. Uh, I'm not bothered by no, but people like that. like that are like, oh, no, I could never do that. I could never... Yeah. Like, but not on physical. Um, I don't like a girl who's too up her own ass. I like uh, humility. Yeah? Because mm. Sarah is beautiful, but she's sound. Yeah. I couldn't be asked her being like taking selfies. When I met Laura shit. and she could get ready in 20 minutes, it was one of the greatest revelations of my life. It's part of the reason I was like, you're going to get married with me. Because we were just like, John, what, should we go out? And then it all it took was 15, 20 minutes. And we were like, oh my God, we left the fucking house without you shouting and throwing like straighteners around. Brilliant. Yeah. So good. And um, she's beautiful. She just get, can fucking get herself together quick. Yeah. Oh, in fact, yeah, the timekeeping thing. Now I'm remembering when you were trying to get to something and you'd agree to time. Oh, fucking God, man. Anything to wear. Like, just, every time. Grow the fuck up. I just lie. Or buy a size up. <laughs> yeah, I just lies. lie to my missus and yeah. tell her we're leaving 45 minutes before we are. And then yeah. she's never late. You try to do it to me. Yeah. Well, much cheaper. was. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's like, yeah, we're tables booked for seven. It's not booked till half eight. <laughs> nice. When it worked out. Yeah, we're going for a drink before we go to the restaurant then. If, if. Right, okay. Clever. Have you got any, have not got any, like, turn-offs? Smoking, number one for me. Smoking. Yeah. Smoking. Smoking. Dr drugs, drugs for me. Yeah, Like a girl who's like a, a coke head. Yeah, I not could, for me. I just couldn't, it's just not attractive. No, mm. it's not, but you know. I do cat like would like yeah, just get ketamine. Oh, good ketamine, yeah. What about cigars? <laughs> I saw an, on Instagram. There's a bit of a lane with South American girls who take pictures with cigars. I don't. I, no, and I, I don't know what it was, but I was like, <laughs> I find this very. Yeah, but they don't yeah, smoke no, cigars. On, like at a wedding and on occasion, absolutely. I'm like, do you know what? That's a it, weirdly a bit sexy. But if she's got like a forty a day cigar yeah. habit. <laughs> 40 uh, cigars and she'd be dead in three wow. weeks. Wow. What, and she's inhaling? What kind of animal is this? If that girl doesn't suck your dick on the first day, so you've done something majorly wrong. Hey, Adam, I'm from Cuba and I smoke 40 cigars a day. Don't take like an that hour girl to smoke. pokes fucking hard. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> take me on a day. That's okay. Take me on a day, Adam. I wake up, I have Coco Pops, I smoke a fucking Cuban. She is back a dirty back. girl. Dirty girl. But yeah, smoking and drugs for me. Are oh, I'll tell you what I don't like as well. Um, <laughs> Jews? But, no, God. <laughs> yeah. Jews, Muslims, New York Christians, Jews. any religion. Uh, when when they're sort of like, um, <laughs> like someone who just pretends they don't want food that they do. Do you know when someone's just like, like, oh, what are we going to get? Oh, I don't know whether I'm going to start. I might just get like a little side side. And then for me, main, I might just get, you know, the the fish, but with no chip. I just want like a, when, when like three months later, they're like, I want everything. Like, I just order whatever you want. Just be sound. Just be not. What I don't like is uh, obvious fakeness, which I struggle a lot with in comedy because there's so many fucking, hey, man, haven't seen you for ages. Well, and there, I, there is a lot recently, see, isn't there? I see right through the back of their head, and I'm like, fuck you. That's why I struggle with industry people in comedy. Because I'm like, do you all believe each other? Because I know you're all full of shit. And that with, like, a girl, if they're like, yeah, I'm like this, and I'm just like, you're obviously not. That Like, <clears throat> I, I just need everyone in my life to just be normal. Just be sound. Sound, yeah. normal people who are chill is what I like to surround myself with. I think that's one of the easier things about getting a bit older. It's just like, I remember like Laura holding in farts and everything. And on reflection, you're like, if she'd have on the first day, like at Nando's gone, wait, <laughs> get on that. I, would, I wouldn't have been asked. Who cares? She's farts like that anyway. Like, what do you think? I don't know. Like, why is this thing like, oh, never, we don't fart. Eventually you're going to do, just get it all out early doors we don't be yourself be the animal that you are like if if laura was gone 
gone. She left. Yeah. And she fucked off and she'd done with me. She's then gone to it, Lisbon. She's gone to Lisbon. <laughs> she's in Portugal. She's she, gone. She's gone to Lisbon to work as a private detective looking for unnamed missing children. Matty McCann. Oh, right. Yeah. Because because it turns out she did she went online right and she did a personality test and it turns out she's got a detective the, the detective personality <laughs> she's got the detective personality and and, and she got an email because she clicked a box that said we we can share your data with other people she got an email from the Portuguese police department right and they were like I'm sick of them emails aren't you African princes dick enlargers and the Portuguese police and they emailed her and said look Loz. Uh, we we we've read your report, Very and you fun. are you are the most detectivist person we've ever <laughs> come oh, across. That hurt and, my ears. <laughs> and we think like you could help us find some of these missing kids. Like it, obviously, it'd be fucking. We did the jackpot if you help us find Maddie. We're not. Oh, expect, she's, oh, we're she's, not expecting that. Yeah, she's, she's the, the white whale, isn't she? She's the goat, she's the goat yeah. of missing Portuguese children. Yeah. So, but if you like, there's, there's a fella missing called Jerome and another one called Keith. And if you find either How of them, you not find Jerome and Keith in Portugal <laughs> where they're all called Jose. <laughs> just literally open the book and go, just find the Jerome. There he is. Just shout Jerome. Yes, yeah, just go that. Jerome. And they're like, what? No, but if you kidnap a kid, you obviously change their name. Right. So right. be in the phone book. Sorry, there's a kid. I've, I've there's... kidnapped this kid and let's just make sure he's in the phone book. Oh, sorry. Okay. I, this is... Jerome's number is. Do you reckon they've ever a... checked the phone book for Madeline McCann? <laughs> That's why Laura's being brought in. So look at just the, to check the obvious stuff that some people. She's miss. not just a. Per, she's it's only children that she finds. Missing children. And there's a missing child called Keith. And Jerome. Somewhere in Portugal. <laughs> Jerome, yeah. Right. I don't think she's going to be in Portugal long. While she's away, if I start dating anyone else, I want them to f- fart on the first date. Oi, holler at me. You get my my my, my next ex-wife is definitely a podcast listener because I can't pull anywhere else. So I just want to be, I want to be, I want the animal that it, it like, just get it all out. It's Cameron Jerome as well. In Portugal? Yeah. It's Cameron Jerome. Jerome. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't make any sense, Cameron. wrong. It's just saying Jerome's. And now I say Jerome. <laughs> Jerome, motherfucker. It's just noises. <laughs> Jerome. So. Jerome Lee. If you want your Jamon ex-boyfriend Lee. to just pick his ick. Pick his ick and then use it against him. So I've doubled up two emails there. I thought yeah, was... start smoking. Start doing cat. <laughs>